this year we're gonna run the Detroit Marathon. We're gonna try to get a thousand Kensington runners to raise a million dollars for clean water in Africa. Hope Water Project started four years ago, and we asked that question, will people run a marathon and raise money for clean water in Africa? In the first year, we actually were having an impact. We raised $300,000, and that was putting wells in, and that was having a big impact in, in Africa. So we partnered with the Polkot Outreach Ministries, and we went to their headquarters in Kapangiria, which is the nearest city to the Polkot and they pulled out this big blue binder that had page after page of these applications of different communities asking for a well. They take the application process very serious because they're going to invest an average of $24,000 in a well for this community. How far they had to walk, how many people were actually in their community, what type of diseases they had in their community, what percentage of the people in that community had that disease. So there's a lot of criteria that actually goes into the process of how they select where the next well goes. Once they pick a community, the next step is to determine the exact drilling location. So we drove into an isolated area where uh, eventually we went over this ridge. And once we went over the ridge, we saw a small crowd gathering around a, a well that wasn't quite assembled. As the team was assembling the well, it seemed like the crowd started gathering. The crowd became larger until they got to the point where they could finally start pumping and clean water would start flowing. 